Hey everybody, Rebecca here, and this week I'm just looking at some gift ideas for your crafty, nerdy friends. Um, so anyway, here's one I absolutely love. This is a Wise Light Strip Pro, and uh, I have several products by this Wise company based out of Seattle, and every product I've gotten has been very inexpensive and works great, so I really love them. And in fact, I now have an affiliate link for Wise, so I will uh, put that down below. So so excited that they let me uh, participate in their affiliate program. But um, these white light strips, uh, there's two versions. This is the pro version, so a little bit more money. But I think I would definitely recommend that you go with this this pro version because the the um, just the vividness of these things is fantastic. I still have this coiled up. I literally just have unboxed it. And um, one neat thing right off the bat for these light strips, it's not the entire light strip has to be the same color. As you can see here, you can get different sections of the strip be different colors. So that is uh, really cool. I know my uh, other light strips I've used in the past, it's, it's all one color. Um, you can't you know, do multicolor like this. So that's a really neat feature. And the, the covers on these are very smooth. There's a nice layer of uh, uh, plastic on top of the LEDs that just make it such a nice smooth uh, surface. Of course, just like many others, it comes with the uh, sticky tape so you can secure them to the back of monitors, TVs, whatever. So I think I'm going to put these above my kitchen lights on the other side of my kitchen. Um, once I play around with these a little bit. So I'm going to show you the app real quick. And then just like other smart devices that I'm trying to add to my house, I'm trying to make sure that Python works with them. Uh, so in other words, you can create a Python programming script to turn these on. And I'm so pleased to say that it did work. Um, and I will show you that in a few seconds, so stick around. Um, but anyway, that's it uh, was super easy to unbox. Let me get the app open, and I will show you that real quick. And uh, again, I have several Wise products, and so it added it to my existing app really easily. And you will see, um, I've got the brightness turned down. Look at that, and they're still so bright. This is probably going to, yeah, be hard on the camera here. <laughs> but it really looks good in person. Um, so I'm going to knock down the brightness just a bit, just for the uh, filming here. And you'll notice there's several, um, there's some preset things. Of course, you can go in and, uh, let's see you can you can do these preset things um you know and i haven't spent a whole lot of time experimenting with this yet so we'll see it for the first time together here so all these different settings very similar to wow that one is rough <laughs> you can i'm sure you can slow down the speed and all that but these are so cool i love the look of it while it's still in the coil wrapping but um, this, this will look great when it's all stretched out, too. Um, and they, they've got a, a, a really nice amount of presets here. That's really, really cool. So, anyway. Uh, also, scenes. So, if you... Um, uh, nice, nice levels of whiteness here. This is always good to have a good light strip that can show different colors of white your cool whites and your warm brights and then you can set that up to change throughout the day if you want they've got different effects you can do you know in their app and set up different events to turn these on and so forth um, but anyway with all of that if we go back up here to design of course you can start to get your any color any color that you want and any whiteness that you want and then if you long press this icon this is where you can tell it what parts of the strip you want to do what so here I've selected one segment of the strip if we close out of that and then select a color yeah you'll notice that it that's the only part of the strip that turned that color so that is just uh, really really cool so let's see if we can do another set uh, from the strip and then pick a different color. Wow, look at that. So three colors, red, white, and blue, and uh, all on just that one strip. So this will be really neat and fun to play with whenever I get this set up uh, in the kitchen.
And then I we use the Amazon uh, for our smart home stuff, and it it linked in immediately on my Amazon app. So now you can also voice control these, and I'm sure there are, um, I'm sure those of you on the Google uh, system, yeah, Google, Alexa, and the if this then that um, all work. So you can voice voice activate these. But let me turn on my computer, and I will show you how I. Um, got a Python script to be able to turn these on as well and so super powerful with that you can then um, later on I'm going to experiment and just have like a something on my phone like a task or task I'll be able to execute the Python script which can then control the lights so all kinds of possibilities Okay, let me see if I can get this all on the same screen for you in, in one area here. I've got my light strip just leaning against uh, the computer monitor here. And then uh, just a command line open down here in the black part um, where I'm going to execute these Python scripts. But as you can see here, it's, it's really uh, very straightforward. There is a uh, WISE... Um, software development kit uh, that somebody else has created. I do not believe that uh, this is the WISE company that's put this out. And, and so there's somebody else that has developed this and, and it works just so, uh, works great. And it's not just these light strips. There are other, um, other products from WISE that you can connect to now uh, using Python. And so it's, it's very straightforward. It just needs to know a little bit of information. We're going to log into WISE with our email and our password. And then that way you can access the list of your devices. And then you just tell it what device you want to control. This one, of course, since it's a light, that um, the modules here are called bulbs. And so we can simply just turn on. And then in your app, you'll be able to find the MAC address for that particular device. So it's interesting that it's going based on a MAC address instead of like an IP address. Uh, and that's actually probably going to work better because these MAC addresses won't change. Um, and then the device model, honestly, I'm not sure um, how this differs. But I did notice uh, for the example that I found online, they used this. So probably everybody will use the same device model. Um, well, of course, this may change with different versions of, of the lights, um, but I found that, that that particular value worked fine here. So I've just created two simple scripts. Of course, you could come back and create your if statement. So if it's, our, if it's off, turn it on, and if it's on, turn it off. That could be added easily later. But as of right now, I have two files, one to turn on and one to turn off. And, of course, I just named them. Um, appropriately so all right so let me get down here to my command strip and do the up arrow so i don't have to retype it and let's see this is the one that's going to do off so let's start with on all right so pan out just a bit and then i'll run that script sorry for the shakiness here uh, there it goes get it to focus again all right so we're going to turn it on Ta -da! and then turn them Let's see. Turn them off. Very, very cool. So good to know that light strips can be controlled with Python. Um, the only tricky thing to this code is if you never use these environment variables, uh, they're super simple, but that way you're not hard coding your email and password in here. And so with a, an environment variable, you can literally just get in, make you know, make sure you're in the folder where your file is, and you literally just use the set command. So it was set set wise email equal, and then you'll you'll literally put in your uh, your your email address. <laughs> uh, duh, <laughs> literally put in your email address, and then just do another one for set wise password, and then you do. You do have to uh, have clear text uh, passwords in your environment variables, but it's a little bit more secure than having it just hard-coded in the script file itself. So, All right, so with that, if you have any questions, I'll try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching.